Hello everybody, it's Amber Kibbett with Life Pro. Super excited to share with you day 11 of our 21 day fitness challenge. We're halfway there already and we're having so much fun. So today we're gonna to pretend like we're having a little party in our own home, listening to each other, uh, creating that team approach. And if you wanna play music in the background, please feel free to play music in the background. If you used uh, yesterday's exercise with the bucket of water, tilting your bucket of water to leak water out your back, out your belly, side to side, we're gonna turn that into a full movement. So if we have my handy dandy skeleton here today, okay, if you can go to a standing position and you can tolerate this, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna tilt back, tilt to the side, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, okay? And then we're gonna go back around the other way. You get what I'm saying here? Big, big hula hoops. All right, so if you remember your hula hoop days, that is what today is all about, it's about hula hoops. So if you want to work hula hoops total body, you can do hula hoops total body. Imagine that your hips and your belly are drawing big circles with a Sharpie. And so if you need to put your hands on your hips, and roll it all about. That's what we're gonna do. And we can go the other way. So we're getting all loosey-goosey because this is all supposed to be mobile and able to move real, real free. But a lot of us are just really stiff and moving around, which tugs on that back, tugs on that neck even more. So if you're doing hula hooping from your belly button, then the chest stays stiff and the knees stay stiff and it's just working your your pelvis more tilted forward when you come back around and more away. So as you work from the side, okay, if we're working our whole body, we're kind of more, I like to say this is more like a weeble wobble, okay, weeble wobble, going back the other way. So we're using from chest to knees to create this motion, or we just create the motion through our belly button, okay, pull my shirt down here so you can see the movement a little bit through our belly button, okay, other way. And then when you add vibration to that, whoo, lots of abs, you're gonna feel it. So let's get started. This is all about having fun. I like to have fun. So let's make sure that we're having fun. Um, pick whichever program you would like, doesn't matter what it is. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna go manual mode today. So if you have the Rumblex Pro, you're gonna use what looks like a little wrench and you're gonna light it up so that all three things are showing, three different types of vibration here are showing. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and I'm gonna increase the intensity here to where I'm gonna be in the moderate range. All right, so we've got all three motors running in the moderate range. If you have another Rumblex platform, again, you can go tapping into manual mode until you get all three motors lit up. If you have one of the other devices, you just get comfortable with whichever uh, program is most enjoyable to you, but you can see all of this is shaking the drunk in the trunk, as I like to say. You can, uh, I don't like to say the word fat because I just don't think that's a good word. I like to, um, it's connective tissue and it's energy storage. So I like to get all of it rumbling and moving around, all right? So from here, let's work big circles with our hips with our torso, with our thighs, big, big circles, yep. And if you wanna play music in the background, I know so many of you love 80s and 90s stuff. I'm not playing music today, I'm letting you choose what you wanna to listen to, okay? So big, big hula hoops, okay? And we can get the arms going at the same time, just having a lot of fun here. So whatever you wanna to do to have some fun is most important, all right? Now, if we're wanting to work more here through the belly and you want those abs, then you're gonna keep your ribs a little more stable and your knees and lower legs a little more stable and you're just moving from here to here. So just think about your belly button, drawing a big circle with your belly button with a big marker, okay? Around and around and then we go the other way trying to really pull those muscles in. Not holding your breath though, breathing, laughing. I guarantee you, a lot of you probably look really bad doing this, so it's okay if you look a little something like this, 
or like this and you just can't seem to figure it out, it's okay. If you wanna mix it up a little bit, you can go one foot in front of the other, okay? Another way to mix up those hula hoops. My daughter likes to call these hoopa loops. <laughs> but definitely way more challenging when you're working the motion in a split lunge or a, squats, a split squat stance. And yep, it is a lot harder to balance this way. So thinking about moving nice fluid circles, and then if you can let the upper body go at the same time, then we can get like this little, little wiggle worm going, all right? But either way, you can put your hands on your knees. I know so many of you totally get what I'm talking about here. This is more like club-like movement, okay? That's why I have the camera facing me in the front instead of from behind. So um, most important thing is have fun. So thank you all so much for watching and hula hooping with me today. I cannot wait to see you all tomorrow. So have fun, be safe, feel great, and live free. Have a good day.